Hi, I'm attorney Clint Hastings. I practice here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I focus on dad's rights. Today, I want to talk to you about temporary orders. You'll hear a lot about temporary orders throughout your divorce case. It's one of the earliest proceedings that take place, and it's very important for setting the orders throughout the pendency of the divorce. Now, I know you don't want your divorce to be like this, but there's a lot of divorces that end up taking two, three, even four years. I've even had one that lasted eight years. Now, a temporary order is the first hearing you will have in the case. And what it does is set orders that govern for the rest of the pendency of the case, unless modified at some point for certain reasons. But basically, it's going to be your governing order throughout the pendency of the case. Now, how does that happen? Well, it is a hearing, but in Tulsa County, they do most of these hearings now by what's called proffer. And what that means is your lawyer will get up and state your case to the judge about custody, child support, and any other orders that need to be put in place to say direct how debts are going to be paid and how the cars are going to be paid and who should get what car. A lot of judges describe this temporary order agreement as only addressing putting roofs over people's heads and food in their mouths. So in other words, um, it's not meant to touch all angles and aspects of your case or to receive all evidence about the case. So that's why it's important that your lawyer be able to summarize your position in the case and get that tone and those orders set early on. Now, at the end of the case, the temporary orders merge with your final decree and no longer exist. So you will end the case with a divorce decree that governs um, for the rest of your uh, children's lives. If you don't have children, or if it's a paternity case even, still all that still gets a temporary order because there's still financials to take to need to be decided and there's still custody issues in a paternity case, paternity case and child support. I hope that helps. Uh, review this website for more information and let us know if you have any questions. Thanks.